Okay, so they brought the queen out early, looking to support the pawn here or something, or maybe attacking the b pawn as usual. Is there anything that we can do to disturb that? We could simply just take. I think the bishop takes then, doesn't it? So it's got pressure here. Yep, that makes sense. And what do we want to do? Do I block off my bishop from getting developed or do I bring my bishop out? And then he's in front of our queen. I think I'll just bring the queen here. Okay, so they're feeling happy with their position. Now let's go and attack the bishop. Queen can take the pawn, don't forget. So do we do this first? Do we stop the pawn from jumping here? The knight, sorry, from jumping here. Let's do that first. And then maybe we can attack the bishop as well. And continue here if, if need be. Attacking this pawn. So I'm going to continue as is. So the bishop's probably going to move out of the way so the bishop can attack the queen freely. Oh, they've gone for a take. I bet you I've missed, messed something up because the queen takes and he's got a check on our king. Do we need to lose so much sleep over that though? Not really. Could actually go with the queen as well. Might as well go with the queen. It's going to take the pawn here with a check. Just bring the bishop through. So they'll be feeling good. They've disturbed stuff. But I'm feeling quite happy because our position feels quite tasty. He's bringing the knight across. He wants to get his knight to this position here. I'm just going to bring our knight here. Maybe start attacking, get the bishop up, attacking the knight. I don't think there's anything to lose in his sleep over at the moment. Obviously we can go a castle as well. So their knight's jumping in already, so we could go and attack. Let's just attack. Don't want to lose tempo going castling. And we could bring the king up. Go with the knight. His knight still wanting to get here. Well, we'll go here. So we've got lots of space to play with in this area. So I'm going to castle. Free reign for the rooks. Let's attack the knight first. It's going to come down for the pawn. Might trap himself. Let's go here. He's got a safe haven here. So he's attacking the bishop. So now we can bring our bishop into the game a little bit. In fact, just leave it here. Let's leave it here like this. So they're plus one, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, positionally, we might be looking a bit tasty. Probably looking to attack the bishop. Okay, well, so if we did move the knight here and the knight took, the bishop takes, so I don't think that's too bad for us. So we're attacking their knight. It's just going to be a simple exchange, exchange. Just trying to improve our position. Yeah, okay, so they've captured. Not sure they're going to take with the bishop, but oh, they have done. So they're going to just do a mean little pawn push here so we can own this file for a brief moment. I think they'll go for an exchange. But they are a minor piece down, as stated, so we could just take. But they're going to be owning the file. It's quite key owning the file with the rooks, really, isn't it? But we do have a minor piece up. If we take... Then his rook takes, he's owning the file. We're going to have to bring our rook back. The knight can defend the king. Or we can just simply push our rook back. It's just he's got these two linked pawns here. Don't really want him to have that. Anything else? Come down. Maybe he doesn't take and he goes for doubling himself. Yeah, let's just bring it back. Play it safe, steady. There's no rush. So he's got two pawns for the minor piece. So in essence, if I was black, I'd be going, oh, I've got a rook because I've got two linked pawns that are past pawns, basically. So in reality, it's um, they are plus one as well. So on the board, you'd probably say it's even because we do have the minor piece. What's their idea? Getting these pawns pushed. Oh my god, and they have done as well. 
Right, so we could go take, takes, could take this, rook comes down for here, and then we just bring the knight across here. Then the knight is kind of out of the game for a minute, but he's only got one pawn, so we could come across. Yep, so that makes sense to me, I think. Let's go here, and then take here, and then go here. Now they're going to just push the pawn, just get across. In fact, we can go for a back ranker because we knew they were going to push that. That's the human thing to do, isn't it? And now they've resigned. Okay, nice one.